In the early days of Clash of Clans, ground armies were the way to go and were all you could even use until Town Hall 4. But over time, air troops have been getting used more and more which has led to a majority of attacks being air attacks. But what exactly led to this massive rise in the usage of air troops? To find out, we first need to look at how air attacks have evolved over time. The first air troop you unlock is the balloon at Town Hall 4 and already the mass balloon attack is the best army you could use. This is because there are only three total defenses that shoot air troops at Town Hall 4 which are the two archer towers and single air defense. Honestly, it is almost impossible to not go to 3 star using the strategy because you just have to send 3 groups of balloons to each defense and they will easily get destroyed. It doesn't matter where they are placed or how far apart they are placed. And you can use 10 to 15 archers to get rid of any clan castle troops that might hurt the balloons. However, once you move on to Town Halls 5 and 6, this strategy seems to die out and ground troops take back over. This is because at Town Hall 5, an additional Archer Tower and a Wizard Tower are introduced and this is really bad for the balloons, especially the Wizard Tower as just one tower can destroy all of them. And this problem gets made even worse at Town Hall 6 as even more defenses are added but no other air troops that can help the balloons. The healer was unlocked at Town Hall 6 but she just wasn't really useful at this stage but we'll get to her towards Town Hall 9. Now we're on to Town Hall 7 which is the most significant in my opinion and what really started the takeover of air troops. This is because the dragons were added to the game. The dragons have completely changed the game as we know it and them along with the balloons were so OP that Supercell ended up adding the air sweeper to the game in 2015. The dragons were really good because you could fit quite a lot of them in your army and they dealt a lot of damage in a relatively short amount of time. Especially after Supercell made it so the dragons did splash damage. Supercell also buffed the HP and damage of the dragon which just encouraged people to use them even more. Plus, they somewhat solved the problem with the wizard towers since they could tank the shots and deal enough damage to destroy the towers without dying. And the dragons were especially good when they got paired up with the balloons. The drag loon attack is one of the most famous and well known attacks in the game just because of how often you see it and how many people have used it. And a big reason for many people using it is that the strategy is very simple and very effective. All you really have to do is place your dragons and balloons in a line and just watch them tear through the enemy base. This strategy has been used and is very effective at every single town hall level past 7 and while it may not give many 3 starts towards the very high town hall levels, it is still really good and a way to basically guarantee a 1 or 2 star without having to put too much effort in. But the air troop takeover didn't only happen with offensive troops. At Town Hall 9 you unlock the Archer Queen which brought the Queen Walk strategy utilizing the healers that you unlocked at Town Hall 6. If you were around when the Queen came out, you would know just how big of a deal this was and how literally every single person used the strategy at Town Hall 9. The healers were also much better back then because there was no sort of limit as to how much they could heal. But over time they would end up getting some nerfs. But the strategy is still really good and still very widely used at all town hall levels. Part of this is because the queen walk could be used with pretty much any army including other air armies and was a good way to get rid of one or two air defenses for the rest of the army. And later on the healers would also serve another purpose in healing the grand warden for the warden walk. This was another really good strategy and would become increasingly popular towards the higher town hall levels. And at town hall 9 you also unlock the new air troop which was the baby dragon. Now, this is one of the lesser used air troops but it still works very well as a supporting troop and can be used in pretty much any army which is why a lot of armies, 
especially in the higher tunnel levels, usually include one or two baby dragons. And by tunnels 9 and 10, air troops were already being used quite often, mainly the dragons, healers, and balloons. But tunnel 11 would really change it because this is when the electro dragon would be introduced. I have a whole video talking about them, so I'll keep it brief here. The electro dragons were extremely OP and they were extremely easy to use, similar to the normal dragons. They're typically used either just by themselves as an entire army or with a bunch of balloons. And at tunnels 11 and 12, they're probably the most OP and the easiest to 3 star with, especially because you can use a warden to protect large groups of these troops from things like air mines and wizard towers. And at this stage, the biggest enemy for these air attacks would be the air sweepers. Since you could destroy all four air defenses with lightning spells before the match even starts. And the electro dragons are still really good at the higher tunnel levels, similar to the normal dragons. And finally, we have the dragon rider, which was unlocked at tunnel 13. Now this one was stronger, faster, and tankier than most other air troops, and it targets defenses which makes it kind of like a mix of balloons and dragons. The Dragon Rider is definitely one of the best air troops in the game, but it is more reserved for the higher tunnel levels, which means not many people could really use them. And that has been it for most of the air troops in Clash of Clans, and I haven't even gotten to the super troop versions. But realistically, they are pretty similar to their normal counterparts, so I think we can just skip over them and get to exactly why all this matters and how it all comes together. The air troops all have one major thing which gives them an edge compared to ground troops and is a reason for them being able to do what they do, and that is the ability to just bypass walls since they can fly right over them. Walls add a whole level of complexity to the game, but it can almost be completely ignored when you use air troops. And the walls get even stronger and more annoying to deal with at the higher tunnel levels, which is why air armies are even more popular up there. And with air troops, you typically don't have to worry about pathing issues as much because attacks aren't complicated and some of them don't even require any sort of funneling to be successful. And this kind of ties in with what might be the biggest reason that air troops have taken over, and that is skill level. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of these air troops will be used in large groups and typically in spammy attacks where the player will just have to hold down their finger across the screen to deploy the troops without really having to carefully think about the placement, which is something that you can't really do for most ground armies, though there are a couple of spam ground attacks that can be effective. But back to the air troops. Their ease of use is typically a big reason that people like to use them since they don't really have to be as precise with their attack or think too much about it. This is especially good for the casual players since all they really care about is having fun and being able to use easy and simple armies is the best way they can accomplish that. Plus, the metas with ground armies are always changing and that can be a lot for normal players to keep up with, so they just stick to air armies. Also, air troops typically don't have to worry about as many traps as ground troops do, which can make attacking easier, though things like the air skeleton and seeking air mines can be very bad for certain air troops. All of these different things have contributed to air troops taking over Clash of Clans, and in my opinion, I really do prefer air troops over ground troops, but let me know what you guys think in the comments.